I've already shuffled, and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Pisces, the recent past energy between you and your person, we got the King of Cups, and it's with the Page of Cups. Now the King of Cups actually speak, speaks of a, of a balanced male and feminine energy. He holds all the positive qualities of both masculine and feminine. Often, he'll indicate an actual person or a man in your life. Usually, when he represents a live person, it's referring to a very kind and loving individual who will usually have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Just know that you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen. When you get the King of Cups in a reading, it's all about kindness and compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is. When you get the King of Cups in a reading, so nurture yourself and allow your person to nurture you. Now it's with this Page of Cups, which shows a need to play, dream, have a little fun. When this card appears in the reading, it can mean that you've been taking yourself way too serious. There was a poet, or maybe a writer, that once said, The one thing that I've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work serious and taking oneself serious. Now, the first can be imperative, and the second can be a disaster. So you have to know the difference. So, the energy that I'm getting, Pisces, with this King of Cups showing up, clarified by the Page of Cups for you and your person for the recent past energy, is that it looks like you you wanted to give your cup of love. That's what's in the what's in the King of Cups cup is actually love. Like I said, it's this King of Cups. Whenever you see the King of Cups or the Queen of Cups in the reading, it's all about love, kindness, compassion. Element of pure and true love. So you wanted to give your love to someone, to your person. And I'm getting they wanted to do the same. Because we've got a lot of cups here. Page of cups, king of cups. I'm feeling that the connection, it was mutual. Yeah, you wanted to offer your cup and they wanted to offer their cup. And it looks like the two of you really enjoyed each other. Yeah. Because if you look at the Page of Cups, you see how these, these occur below the word pass. You see how these three people, they're hanging loose at the park. They're halfway naked. They're turning up the bottle. Just having a great time. Yeah, so you two really enjoyed each other. You made your person laugh a lot and... And you made your person laugh a lot, and they made you laugh a lot. So, it was just a, you, your, the energy is just a lot of fun. You had a lot of fun, you and your person, this recent past energy. And it, it felt so great. You wanted to offer your cup, and they wanted to accept it. They wanted to offer their cup to you, and you wanted to accept it. Just a great time. A lot of love here. Love and happiness, that's what I should call this recent past energy. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got this Knight of Swords. And it's with the Seven of Pentacles. Now, this Knight of Swords, it brings an upbeat, cheerful type of energy. The night often means someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. Knight of Swords can point to your physical, emotional, spiritual energy being at a peak. And if you're waiting on news from someone or something, you're likely to like what you hear. The Knight of Swords can point to a lot of activity, travel, being out and about, getting things accomplished. So you're not likely to feel like waiting for anything to come to you. 
as the Knight of Swords. Now, this is a good thing. You'll be going after your heart's desire. Now, this Knight of Swords is with Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles, very often it's a card about returns on investments. Now, this can be literal. Maybe a bank account returning money to you or figuratively, such as investments of time, effort, and energy that you put into a relationship. It's about reaping what you've sown, and this is positive. You should be feeling more secure than you have in a while, and things will be moving along pretty well. You'll be feeling hopeful about the future with a good cause. You might have to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, and situations that you're already involved with or whether to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life. Yeah, because this um, Seven of Pentacles is the card below the word present. See how she's uh, taking care of this plant? Well, this lady had this plant ever since it was a little teeny tiny baby. She could hold it in the palm of her hand and she took care of it. And now it's about maybe eight or ten feet tall. The leaves are dark and rich in color, every one of them, and it's continuing to grow. She gets up every morning before and, and before she goes to bed to take care of it. So, yeah, it's about reaping the rewards of time and energy and effort that you put into something. Yeah, so coming up. Pisces, for you and your person, Knight of Swords, clarified by the Seven of Pentacles. So it looks like, like I said, you two are just, you, you guys are just getting really into each other. I, I like this energy, the King of Cups and Page of Cups. Love it. So your person, here they come. They're rushing in. That's them up there with a the huge sword in their hand. Now, the Knight of Swords rushes in, rushes in to sweep you off your feet, take you out, have a good time. They rush in, they'll cut out anything that gets in their way just to be with you. And with the Seven of Pentacles here, he's showing that this person really wants this connection to work. Yeah, they plan on putting in a lot of time, energy, and effort just to really make it work. Beautiful. Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We've got the world card. And so the fool card. Now the world card is actually about completion. Closure. You've worked hard. You're almost to the finish line in some way. So just don't quit now. Because you are so close. You could feel like you need some well-deserved rest, relaxation. Don't be afraid to take it. You're getting closer to who you really are at your deepest levels. Now, when it comes to work, there could be a good chance that you're working way too hard for far too little recognition and money. So, it's important if this is the case to blow your own horn a little just to make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. Now, the world card is with the fool. Now, the fool card is always an indicator of newness in one form or another. Now, in many ways, it can indicate the purity, open-hearted energy, and in innocence of a child. Children are trusting. Trust forms the meaning for this card. Now, this is considered to be a positive card in the deck. But, as you can see by looking at the picture... There could be one thing. It's going to be important for you to take time to be sure you're looking where you're going. As you can see, he's not trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown. That's one thing. But if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it could be a big mistake. Yeah, he's about to land into the Pacific Ocean. That's all blue water below him. So, yeah, he's ready to take a leap. He's so ready that he's just not... He, he, doesn't have on his thinking cap. He took that off. Taking a leap without a thinking cap. <laughs> That's not good. But this is a good, good card in the deck. It's supposed to be anyway. So your challenge, Pisces. World card clarified by the fool. 
So yeah, um, it looks like, wow. Hmm. Like I said, your person may really want this to work. Yeah, they come, they're rushing in. If you're wondering if you're going to hear from, from them, here they come. Uh, yeah, well, this is beautiful. It looks like with this world card, you or your person could be closing out some, ch some chapters in your life just to have a new start, a new fresh start with your person. Just ending some journeys, the world card is about. It's about closure, completion, ending a cycle. So they could be closing out some chapters in their life because they want a fresh start with you. Or you could be doing this. Or maybe the both of you are. You both are really excited about each other. Yeah, and there you are. You're the fool. Fool, well, you're not a fool, but, you know, that's what the card says. That's what the tarot is calling you. They're saying that you're ready to just jump right on in. Yep. They come rushing in and you just jump right on in. You're ready, you're ready for this. For this person. Yeah, nothing's holding you back. And your person will cut out anything just to be with you. Oh, wow. This is really nice. So... Let's see what the outcome is. We got the hangman and the five of cups. Now the five of cups is the card above the word outcome. It's another, it's another card that reminds us that where we put our focus has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. So what are you going to choose to focus on? That could be a question. The implication is probably clear. Are you going to cry over spilled milk? Or are you going to focus on the milk you still have and get on with things? The point is you have to watch where you put your focus. Make sure that the focus is for your highest good. Yeah, with the five of cups, you get some type of disappointment. Now, it's with the hangman. The hangman shows that you're at a crossroads. Could be with only two option type crossroads, in or out, up or down, yes or no. You could find that you're wanting to do something, but you have no idea what it is or how to do it. Now, this happens. It's a sign that you should stop, relax, take a look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life, situations, people, or things. It's possible that there's an outdated attitude or even a wish that you need to let go of. Because any sacrifice that you make, it'll open up your life to something even more positive than what you let go of. So overall, this should be a thoughtful, reflective time. Especially if you're willing to look at if or how you might best serve your own interest by being willing to change. Okay, so the outcome for you two Pisces Five of Cups, and it's with the hangman. Yeah, so there's some disappointment that's coming up. Yeah, I don't know what happened. If your person is long distance from you, the disappointment could be that um, you're missing them. It could be something like that. And it's just trying to stay positive. It's hard when your person is long distance. So you could be missing your person, or they could be missing you if, if this is a long distance relationship. So there's disappointment. But if it's not long distance, it could be something else. You know how things go in relationships. Um, but to what I'm getting, I don't know, this reading, it, it looks so good. Then all of a sudden this outcome. Um, it could be a number of things, but what I'm getting, I don't know, this is just coming to me. I'm going to put it out there. It's outside interference. For a lot of you, when people, for, well, I, I don't know if you know this, but I guess you do, if, if we're all talk, if I'm talking to all adults. But sometimes, when people 
around you, even people that you don't know. They see you really happy. And you got somebody that's taking a liking to you. And, you, and you're, you're taking a liking to someone. Things are, things are looking up for you. And you just look happy. You could have some outside interferences. Yeah. I'm just getting this, this vibe, this energy that's coming to me. I'm getting a download that there are some people that could be trying to pull you two apart. They could be feeding your person lies, things that are not true about you or vice versa. Yeah, so, because we've got this hangman here, it's, it's leaving you confused. Now you don't know what to think. Because you got, you got these outsiders, these people that don't want to see you happy. Probably because they don't have such a great relationship. They don't have a love in their life. So you, you might have some friends, so-called friends, frenemies, that could be feeding your person some untruths about you. That's, that's what I got. And I'm getting it for a lot of you Pisces. If it wasn't, it wouldn't have come to me in such a strong way. So yeah, you could have some people trying to pull you two apart. And it happens all the time. People can feed, feed a story to a person about someone that they care about. And then your person, they won't really know what to think. They'll wake up in the morning thinking, wow, is that true? They'll go to bed at night thinking, wow, that couldn't be. Is it true? So now somebody's confused. They don't know what to think. Yeah, so. That happens all the time. Jealousy. So that's what I'm getting the disappointment is and the confusion is for a lot of you. For others, it could be uh, different things. It could be a lot of other things. So Pisces, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to join one of those. So Pisces, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well. I hope you're all staying safe. During this crazy virus season, just hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take good care of yourselves. Come back and join me for the next Pisces reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind the roles. The roles can be switched. You could be them, or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, family member, a co-worker, or even a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates, because these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So Pisces, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day, and take care.